Hi, my name is John Whitehead. I'm an executive and leadership coach, and welcome to this week's video blog post. Over the last number of weeks, I have been exploring Marshall Goldsmith's book, What Got You Here Won't Get You There, and his 20 habits that keep you from the top that he uses as the basis for this book. We've, got, we've gone through the first six, and now we're on the seventh one, which is telling the world how smart we are, right? It's, we want to have this need to show how smart we are. And it's one of those, I want to call, it's not really a trait, but it's one of those things that we see people do all the time. They butt in to make a comment or a point. Um, they always have to have the last word. In many ways, this fits with a lot of the previous ones we've already talked about. And again, these are my interpret interpretations of what Marshall's written and what I have found through my own experiences, whether personally or through uh, working with my clients as an executive coach. And in this one, telling the world how smart we are, it really is tied to the need to win at all costs, which we've talked about. It's, it shows up when we're having a conversation with somebody and we'll say, that sounds like a great idea, but have you thought about, what do we say? What is the message we're sending? That we're smarter, that we know, we know a lot more than you. It um, also shows up in body language sometimes. If you're having a conversation and you can see the eyes rolling or the wanting to, let's move along, let's move along. I know this already. You see the fingers drumming on the table. It's a need to just kind of move on. Yeah, I know that stuff already. We don't have to go over it again. It's that showing people how smart we are. It's uh, when we will have, be having a conversation and somebody brings up something interesting and you say, oh yes, and have you heard, right? It's that At continually adding stuff on, adding stuff on, adding stuff on. So if I'm working with a client and that's a challenge that they're having, what are some of the ways that I work with them? Well, again, some of this is habitual, right? It's something that they've, always done for whatever reason and now it's something they just continue doing they probably don't even realize they're doing it most likely they don't realize what they're doing so how do we get them to stop to modify their behavior well it's it's a theme for me isn't it if you've been following my videos and my blog posts you know what the biggest number one theme for me is self-awareness it's recognizing and knowing yourself. So many times when I'm coaching clients, uh, executives in organizations, it's really helping them recognize some of the behaviors that they're doing. And this one's quite, you know, it, 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 I was gonna say it's quite simple. Nothing's that simple, is it? But it's fairly easy to modify this one because it's changing your pattern. And this one, it's changing the pattern of saying, if you're about to say something to stop yourself and say, is what I'm going to say next at going to add value? Is what I'm going to say next that important? And if it's not say, just say stop and say, thank you. So in a conversation where people, somebody's giving you information, you say, Hey, you know, I really appreciate that information. Thank you. Or somebody's making a point. You say, you know what, I, I, understand. I can he hear you, I hear you. Thank you for letting me know that. Don't go the next step. Is that difficult? Oh yeah, it's difficult. <laughs> it isn't easy. But over time, over time, if you practice that, if you're mindful of it, if you keep it in front of yourself, over time you can shift that. How do you do that? Well, one of the things I recommend with my clients is that they take five minutes at the end of the day and they reflect on their day. They journal their day and they think back and say, when was a time that I added something? When was a time where I was having a conversation and I 
think stop when I should have stopped. And I just kind of added that extra piece. Maybe it was in a sarcastic way. Maybe it was a way to get back at somebody, whatever that was. To, to be aware of that by writing it down on a daily basis. Take five, 10 minutes at the end of the day and do that. You do that and over time, you'll find that you're catching yourself in the moment. And over time, you'll, be stop, you'll stop it. Yes, there'll be times where we kind of screw up. We all do. We're human. But you'll become more aware of it. So think about that. Just reflect on just on the past few hours from watching this video. Was there a time? Was there a moment? Was there a conversation where you did that? You had to had something because, you know, oh, yeah, I know that. I'm smart. Think about that. So thank you for watching this week. And we hope to talk to you again next week. Take care. Have a great week.